because I, I'm a really hard time sitting like this. It's such an Asian thing to do, but I'm gonna try. Ow! Yay! Okay! And good morning, guys. Welcome back to another home quarantine video. Yeah! That's actually yours. Yeah. You, you right. do it, you do it. Hey. <laughs> yeah. So if this video just caught you by surprise and you're new to us, my name is Martin Sologan. This is my fiance. I have a loving it. It's a girl. Coming at you. <laughs> All right. Anyway, we create travel videos and vlogs. We're YouTubers, and as you guys know, since the world is kind of in a lockdown right now, we have to think of other things to create content for you guys. But we're really happy to actually have time to sit down, and talk about our favorite travels, which is what we're gonna do today and actually see you guys so today we're gonna talk about our top five countries or places that Marve has been to or oh, yeah. top, top five favorite places yeah our top favorite travel destinations yeah you want to do it again or yeah. is this good I mean it's, yeah, it's fun. fun it's fun okay so that's what's gonna happen so <laughs> it's very hot it's very hot here <laughs> So right now we're here in the Philippines. We are currently on Shargo Island. This is one of our favorite places. This is where I proposed to my lovely fiance over here a couple of uh, months back. Oh, 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 what's that? Is that a ring? <laughs> anyway, we have been to some really cool places around the globe and we wanted to share our top five places here today. So starting off, bing, number one is Sri Lanka. And why Sri Lanka, babe? Because that's where we met. That's I think without Sri Lanka, mm. it wouldn't. This wouldn't be. This wouldn't have who, been. Who are you? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like oh, it would probably I wouldn't even. Um, I wouldn't even like, come across to you. Right. I, ah! We met in Sri Lanka October 2017, and it was kind of my first visit ever to Asia. Did not know what to expect. I was barely getting into this travel vlogging game. And here is this lovely fiance, <clears throat> and here is this lovely Filipino <laughs> making video blogs. Everybody else was an Instagrammer or blogger, but this girl, she was making vlogs. Yeah, and at that time we also is, uh, and also at that time he's vlogging, he's yeah. daily vlogging. So. Actually, it's a little bit of a lie from my end because Jordan was there also. We were battling for this girl. <laughs> it's quite funny. Oh, yeah, but, he was vlogging. Yeah, but I wanted to show just a quick little recap of what Sri Lanka is like for you guys. So here you go. Also, our first video together that he made reached how many million views? Eight million Facebook yeah. views. So, so that at that point, I was like, "Hey, we make a great team." Yeah, this is you this is that. fun. <laughs> but why Sri Lanka? What was it like beyond just us meeting there to you? Why do you like Sri Lanka? Mm, it's the people. I like the food. I really mm. like the food. Yeah. The curry. Yeah. I miss that. People are so warm. Like. People are so welcoming, it's so beautiful. If you're an adventurous person, Sri Lanka is the best place for you. Yeah. Like you can go hiking. You know, I I hiked. She did hike back then, guys. <laughs> Just because everyone else is hiking, so I was like pretty pressured. <laughs> yeah. So um yeah, I can go hiking, you can go surfing. You can go spelunking. What else do you do? Waterfall chasing. There's safaris. Yeah. Train mm. rides. Like these amazing surf spots. Yeah. Sri Lanka has a lot to offer, and I, I've seen it boom the couple of days. So if you still haven't been to Sri Lanka, consider checking it out once this whole crisis is over. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay, moving on to number two. A. Oh. Oh. Okay. So no big surprise, but our second most recommendable favorite place to visit is the Philippines. No, no big questions asked there. Of course. <laughs> She's a Filipino. 
I'm like getting married to a Filipina. So I mean, this is my third time in the Philippines and every time I come back, I'm just so amazed by the hospitality, friendliness, adventureness, and so many places to see here. Like I'm now we've traveled the Philippines for three months. Executive three months, coming up on four before we stranded here, before we ended up here in Chargao. Every region of this country is so beautiful, friendly, and everyone like there's a lot of in the Philippines they have what they call we are the ex capital of the Philippines you know yeah. mango capital of the Philippines fish capital of the Philippines yeah. so wherever you go there's always something large to see something cool to see and experience mm. if you're into beautiful white sand islands yeah. you know uh, friendly people good food yeah. hospitable Hosp communities what else is there hiking uh, cave hunting. We went, <laughs> remember that cave hunting in Antique? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I didn't expect that. List goes on. Yeah, waterfalls. Yeah, the, oh, the waterfalls. Most beautiful waterfalls in the world. Yeah, it's like the bluest, mm. and also one of the waterfalls in the world. One of the few waterfalls in the world that goes straight to the ocean. Oh, we just right? experienced that mm -hmm. one in the vlog. Whale watching. Oh yeah. What else? There's so many things, I don't know, but I'm gonna give you my top four places if you've never been to the Philippines that you should go to. Do the island hopping in Coron, from El Nido to Coron. Yes. Number two, go to the waterfalls of Cebu and do a flight here to Chargao to experience the party and the surf. Number three, head to the Gigantes Island on the island of Pinay. Oh Pana wow, Pinay. Yeah. Pinay is almost Pinay. there. Almost. Yeah. Experience that. And number four, no other than Dumaguete City. Dumaguete City. Now we went there on my second trip to the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Went to Apo Island. We were Sikihor. diving with turtles. It was so cool. And I think those four places, those four regions, those four corners of the Philippines will give you a understanding of what this place is. Amazing. You don't have to agree to my list. Is there anything you want to add to it? No, I really it's like pretty good. List. Yeah, pretty good. Not so bad. Not so bad. But it, I yeah. mean. If you have a day layover Probably in Manila. Probably forgot about Bicol, but my mom's gonna, <laughs> My grandma's watching, so maybe yeah. you should consider We live a, in their fifth one. Ava's cabin. Okay, we'll add a fifth one. Head to Bicol. <laughs> check out a Bahai Kubo in the Sorsagon region. Yes. Try to live also like Manion a local. Volcano. Yeah. See the Manion volcano. Yeah. It's a really beautiful region as well. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and to add to that, if you have a day layover. Don't hesitate to check out Publichon drinking area in Manila. Yeah. Such so fun. Okay. Ah, my legs are hurting from sitting. Ah. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> the Asian squad. Okay. We're coming up on country recommendation number three. So where are we going? Where are we heading in the world? I think the third best country that we visited is Morocco. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, even if there was a little bit of scamming going on, yeah. but no doubt the food in Morocco. I actually miss the what do you call that? I don't know. They came in like a pot with lamb and it was so good. We always order that mm. lunch, dinner. It was really every good. day for seven days. Mm. Morocco to me was it took me completely by surprise. She took me to the desert for like this crazy birthday gift. <laughs> I was just put in a car and we drove into the desert. And I was like, I'm dead. This is it. I'm gone. I'm gone. She's killing me. And then <laughs> boof, here's this wonderful nice oasis tent complex. Mm. Ava did a vlog about it. You should totally check that out. And then later, li just we lived for I think four or five days in the Medina. Yeah. In a Riyadh. In the Riyadh. Yeah, Riyadh. Yeah, no, just whole it's Morocco, so colorful. colorful, photogenic. We got yeah. so many cool Instagram photos. And since Morocco is in Africa, it's a whole different region that we really haven't explored yeah. yet. So that was like my first meeting with Africa. Uh, really, really enjoyed it. And here's a small little cinematic segment for you guys to get a feeling of what Morocco was like.
Okay, I mean, now that you've seen that, uh, it's time to jump to recommendation number four. Do you want to present this one? Because it's one of your favorite countries. <laughs> Do I have a choice? <laughs> eh, you can talk about it. Well, it's North. Norway. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> okay, so My first home. off, I really like um, the northern part of Norway, and also your grandparents' cabin. Yeah, those like not the city ones, because I feel like in the city it's too organized for me. Not gonna <laughs> lie, it's very organized. And I'm the type of person who likes nature. That's why I enjoyed Lofoten a lot, mm -hmm. even if it's super cold. Not yeah. gonna lie, it yeah. was very difficult for me. Senya was a Whole different place yeah even if it's summertime swimming at the Arctic Ocean was one of the best experiences that even so if the, cool. also the most struggle swimming experience I've ever had <laughs> you know having to wear a lot of layers just to swim yeah. in the freaking ocean yeah well that was an experience you know living in the Philippines I'm always used to just you know um, wearing bikinis yeah yeah and yeah. having a Sun like this that one is different. That was fun. That was fun. fun. Also, the most common question we get when we tell people we've traveled in northern Norway is that can you see the northern lights there? Yes, you I've can. seen it in my own bare eyes, but not gonna lie, be prepared to do aurora borealis hunting or yeah, northern lights thing. hunting so what thing. we did was we drove around in different spots in lufoten yeah all thanks to marcos and selena shout out shout to out. you guys we're seeing brigitte bang yeah. <laughs> stay there um, <laughs> they're amazing but we only had probably a day and a half or maybe just two days yeah where we saw it clearly but it was very difficult to take a photo it is and you need to know what you're if, doing yeah so honestly just seeing the northern lights is breathtaking yeah and i never thought that i will see it <laughs> one it was, day it was so amazing for me too because it's really you can be there for a week and if yeah. it's cloud cover you're not gonna see mm. it but for me to show that to her and yeah. by the time there was just this magical moment yeah. and i got this photo of Ave yeah. under the Borealis. we and... were there for five days yeah but we only had two days to properly see the aurora borealis because it's been like it was there was a snowstorm for two days i think yeah. and one day where it's really cloudy mm -mm. yeah but it was fun a lot of fun so i would suggest if you guys want to check out the northern lights make sure that you have five days to one week yeah uh, make sure you can yeah. see it mm -hmm. I agree. So that's Norway. Really, there's a lot of things to do in Norway, but that's kind of the Marva experience that yes. we had. And we have vlogs about it. So I have a playlist in my own channel called Norway. Check it out. Check out all of his videos for there if you have some uh, inspiration trouble or if you want to find something to do. And if you want to go to Norway, make sure that you have. <laughs> it's quite expensive over there, it is. It is. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's free camping anywhere. Yeah. So if you go in the summer, you With can tent, camp yeah. and just chill rent, out, rent cook. the car, like what we did. Yeah. We lived in, we lived for one night in a car. Yeah. Yeah, that was it's fun. It's possible to do. Mm -hmm. There's also possible to rent RVs. Yeah. Norway is beautiful. We should mm, go back and do more vlogs about it. Actually. Okay. I miss Norway. Boom. I we, miss Norwegian salmon. Yeah. The food there. Anyway, we have to stop. We have to move on to the next one. Let's go. Number five. Which one is number five? Oh, I remember. Brazil. Hey. Okay, so me and Ava, we had the opportunity to go to Brazil in 2018 for an international TV commercial shoot that I was the director of. Yeah, and we were shooting. I was super lucky because I never thought that I would go to South America to Brazil yeah. for work. Yeah, I never met him. It was super, super cool. We at that time, Martin was already flirting with me. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those <laughs> weird stories where the director is not supposed to approach the. Model. The model, but we already had a thing going. Yeah. But okay, so Brazil, we were there for a film project. Ave, yeah. you made a behind the scenes video blog yes. about a whole thing. And it's right there. I personally didn't vlog about that experience. Because it's super busy. Because I'm filming all the time, mm -hmm. but if you guys want to see how that all unfolded and just how cool it was for us to be on a project together working mm -hmm. like that, yeah. check out the vlog. I never really thought that I would visit South America or Brazil. Yeah 
for work. I always thought that okay, I need to save a lot of money. I always thought that I need to save a lot of money just so I can see my bucket list, my uh, bucket list destination bucket list. Yeah. 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 When I heard the news that I got the role, I was crying. I called my dad. You got it. <laughs> I got it. Really cool. So that whole film project was really cool because the client wanted authentic travel influencers to star as the models in the TV commercial that aired all across the globe. And Ava was one of the authentic travel vloggers that you know they wanted as a model for it. Yeah, I think they wanted a Pacific Islander or yeah. an Asian. I think so, I'm I'm the only Asian, right? Mm. <laughs> the fun story is that once this thing is all over, me and Ave, we're gonna travel to South America. Yes. It's kind of our goal, our dream is to, mm. to experience it together. She was lucky enough to do a solo travel yeah, now. So much fun yeah. for two months. And I was so jealous, like <laughs> oh it looked like so much fun traveling South America. So I really can't wait until we get the opportunity to yeah. go again. Maybe we should learn Spanish together. I've heard that you need to learn Spanish if you're traveling South America. Well, I really like uh, when I traveled to South America, I felt that my Spanish vocabulary got a little better. <laughs> you know, I can communicate a little because there are some words in Tagalog mm -mm. that are Spanish because we were colonized by Spaniards for 300 years. Sick. So I'm gonna just gonna give them a little like dream of ours is to rent a car in Argentina and drive up the coast towards Brazil, Colombia, keep going up North America, all the way to the border of the US in Mexico. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. that's our dream to do that road trip. We just now did a road trip in the Philippines. We've been doing a road trip in Norway, but doing a South America road trip, I think it would change your life. So that was our list of our Marva Travels top five countries that we visited and wanted to recommend to you guys. Uh, let us know if you guys like this video, if you want to see more of these, or if you have any other ideas to what we should make top five of. <laughs> yeah. Give this video a big thumbs up. Ching, ching. Subscribe to I've been it on YouTube. <laughs> I make travel guides, solo travel, yeah. travel tips, cooking videos, <laughs> the cleaning whole videos. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? And yes, I just want to say thank you so much to all of you for writing us positivity comments now in these yeah. times. And you know, prayers go out to all of you guys watching, your families. Stay safe, listen to authorities. And let's just get through all of this together. We got this. We got it. It will. We will Stay get. Stay at through. home. Yeah. Okay. And we will see you guys on the next travel vlog, quarantine vlog, home vlog. Bye. Bye.